Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today I bring you Frank and Switch Friday. So I'm primarily a tactile guy. I like tactile switches. I like that feedback. I like the poppiness. I like the response. Um, most of the time I like the bottom out. But there are a few linears that pique my interest and I enjoy using. Um, the Gatoron Milky Yellow, that's just a given. I mean, you know, almost anyone that likes mechanical keyboards likes a milky yellow because it's just it just delivers a good experience and it sounds good. Uh, but I fell in love with quite early on with the Akko Starfish. Um, it's a fun linear. It's got a I don't know. It's colorful. It definitely stands out. It's easy to see with that the purple base, the pinkish. Uh, translucent top and that slime green stem as well as the double stage spring that it comes with it's uh it's always been linear that i like not too light just right um though i've always found the uh bottom out was always a little muted now that didn't bother me so much because there are the switches that i that i like they don't have a sharp bottom out more of a muted bottom out, but they end up sounding good in the right keyboards. But then there's the uh, MMD Princess Linear. This one right here is the uh, 53 gram uh, dual stage linear um, and has been one that I've quite enjoyed. Both this and the tactile version of this switch, I have purchased a couple of batches and I've been having fun um, making some Franken switches out of it. So the other day, I actually came across one of these by accident. I was looking for something else, and this one had just fallen behind something. And when I moved, it was just a lone starfish just sitting there. Because I do have a few batches uh, that I purchased. As soon as I saw Hako was discontinuing them, I bought, I want to say, about eight boxes. Because um, I really, really like this switch, and I have them loaded up just like they are uh, in about four boards, I think. Anyway, I when I came across it, I was like, hmm. I was thinking colors, and I was like, I wonder how the stem of the MMD would sound in that body. Would it get muted out a bit? Now, I actually did make that switch, but that's going to be for another day. Because I've done a lot of MMD princess switches here lately. But I did decide that I wanted to go the other way around. I wanted to see what the stem of the starfish would sound like in the housing of an MD princess. I took the, the spring as well as the housing and the stem of the starfish and I created what I believe is a very poppy and fun linear. The feel is extremely similar to the starfish but the bottom out is much more rewarding. Um, and much more satisfying in my opinion and I made first at first I always if I like how it sounds with one I'll make three or four and then I'll put them in a keyboard and I'll put them next to each other and do a quick you know test of three keys next to each other and see what they sound like I, I was blown away I, I couldn't believe that what it sounded like I put it next to some pricier linears that are considered you know top of the line 70 80 cent linears and this by far delivered a more satisfying bond mount and feel than those other ones i was completely amazed um, i've made a big batch of them but i decided because i did test it out on this uh this is a portico 68 and uh i decided hey this keyboard is still stock. Let's see what the mermaid tail, that's what I'm calling this because, I mean, mer mermaid's just the princesses of the sea, so mermaid and tail, I don't know. Maybe I'm not the best coming up with names as long as the switches are good, right? <laughs> so I took the, um, cause I did, I did test the first three in a different keyboard then I decided to test the three of them in here. This is a Portico 68 uh, stock. 
uh, I think I got this from my name is Anthony if I'm not mistaken but I've had it on my list to mod but I've never really modded it so it's just a snock build of the Portico 68 with um, an FR4 plate and these are double shot ABS Yonk Yonkui uh, 9009 keycap set in the cherry profile so I decided I wonder if it'll bring more life to this because don't get me wrong it's it's a nice keyboard but even with the um the sp star magic girl switches that came it came with uh, this um kit it was still kind of just dull it was something that I, it was in my mind screaming for a pe foam mod or a tempest tape mod or a pet mod something to bring a little bit more life into it but this is still completely stock then i loaded up a couple of the mermaid tail switches my franken switch in there and was blown away at how well it sounded i just i couldn't believe it these i put them side by side to some black inks couldn't hold a candle to it side by side to some pricier linear switches this one in my opinion sounded and felt much better for what the price of this was, roughly about 50 cents to make from the two different switches. Two beaten switches that are closer to a dollar, as far as sound and feel goes. I thought that was pretty impressive. So I decided to load up this entire board with them, and I'm glad that I did. I think <laughs> I'm already in the process of making another batch to load up on my daily driver. Because I actually, I like these, how they sound and feel better than an NK Cream. And to date, the NK Cream, or the Kale Cream, is probably one of my favorite linears. But this one has definitely taken its spot. Not only do I like how it looks, I like the name of it. I know I may not be the best at naming stuff, but Mermaid's Tail. You know, well, aren't mermaids just princesses of the sea? And, and there's the tail, right? So princess, mermaid's tail, mermaid, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, if you got a better name, I'll, I'm open to taking suggestions. Anyway, I decided to load this up and I was just, this is just, wow, it's amazing. That's why I said I'm making another batch of these. I actually did plan for another switch as I, I wanna do tactile, then linear, then tactile, then linear, to kind of flip back and forth because last one I did, was the milk princess and yes it was using the stem from the man from the mmd princess and someone suggested hey what did you what do you think about using the tactile in a milky housing and i was like oh that sounds good so i didn't have any milky browns so i placed an order for them with dang keebs on the 30th of november i won't be getting them until the 14th of december i ordered stuff in early december like the first the second from AliExpress and it's already here. Why do I have to wait longer than it takes something to get from China to here to get from Las Vegas to here? I don't know. So I was hoping to bring that one to you this week, but that'll have to wait for next week. And if if it works out, it may not work out. I don't know. I know that the uh, stem from the linear uh, princess sounded great in the housing of the red milky but I'm not sure how the brown is gonna feel with the different stem, but that's why I experiment. So today I'm gonna to leave you with a stock sound test of this Portico 68 with the Mermaid's Tail Switch, the FR4 plate, and the double shot Young Kui 9009 Cherry ABS. I do hope that you guys like, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have any ideas for any other switches that I should make? I've got a few here, so I could probably make one up uh, or make one that you guys can come up with. Um, but I'm always open to suggestions. So if you guys have any ideas, please share them down below in the comments or over on Budget Keeps or on a Discord server. I'm always there and glad to answer questions and take suggestions. Let's get a conversation started. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keep on.